Hello boss babes and bosses out there. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create 30 days worth of content in less than one minute using chat GPT. So yeah, I know that this topic is a bit controversial because I've heard that a lot of freelancers are afraid na baka i-replace na sila ng AI. But andun ako medyo naglean sa thought na this game changer tool would really help me to be more productive and to be more efficient with my work or with my business. Like, I'm so excited to maximize all the benefits that I can get from the AIs like maraming AIs na nagsilabasa na ngayon that can really really help our business as a social media manager. And I really hope guys that you would also think it that way compared to maging fearful kayo sa mga nagsilabasa ng mga AI. Yes, these tools are so smart that they can do our work. But guys, let's maximize it. Pwede tayong mag-accept ng maraming clients because of this. Kasi makakasave tayo ng time. And makakasave ng effort. And we will become more efficient sa trabaho natin. So, yan yung ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng bulk content in just less than one minute using chat GPT. I hope that you would really find this helpful. Kasi it really saves time saves energy, saves our brain cells na hindi siya masyadong mag-function ng sobra, <laughs> hindi ka masyadong ma-stress and how to create content like this, how to create captions, how to create hashtags and all. I'm just gonna share with you my screen para mas maintindihan nyo yung tutorial natin. I want you guys to really take note sa prompts and sa formula na isi-share ko. But don't worry because I'm gonna share the template for free just for you bosses! Para sa inyo, for free yan! Okay, so you are currently seeing my screen now and the first thing that you need to do is to search for Shit GPT Google Marketplace. Click mo lang to and then click install. Click nyo lang ng tong continue and then mag ask siya kung ano yung permission na need niya from your Google. Then click mo lang yung allow. I'm so sorry if my voice is not that okay. <laughs> and then done. So now you have to go to your Google sheet. So click here the Google Ops na icon and then click drive. And then click new here. And then to click Google Sheets. And now, dito, click mo lang yung extensions. And then, click mo tong Sheet GPT. This is the next thing that you do. You have to enable the Sheet GPT sa Google Sheet mo. Okay. So, click mo lang yung enable. And then, Sheet GPT is enabled. Cool. Okay. So, that's that. And then, I would like you to see this one. Ito yung ginawa ko sa akin. Basically, in just a minute, meron na tayong pwedeng ma-post. 30 posts, or pwede pang more than that. Ang nilagay ko lang is 30, maybe for 30 days, for one week of content. No, you can generate more if you want. Here, merong topics, tweets, Facebook and Instagram. Pwede the same, di ba? Cross-posting lang. Siya na din yung nag-generate ng hashtags for me. And if you want to create a website article, for this one, with SEO na, siya na din yung nag-generate, naka-SEO na, at saka title nyo sa YouTube, if meron kayong YouTube, or yung client merong YouTube, then naka-SEO na din yung title dito. So, meron akong mga ginawang prompts here, like formula siya na prompts. I can send this template to you guys if you want, just for free. But I want to explain bakit ganyan ko siya pagkagawa. So that pag malaman niyo yung thought process ko kung bakit ganito ko siya paggawa, marireplicate niyo siya based on your business talaga. Kasi again, this is not one size fits all. It depends kung ano yung business na hinahanda mo, right? So, this is just an example. Parang base mo siya ba or foundation mo siya. So, here lakihan ko muna here for example this is a health and wellness lagyan natin ng anong topic let's say social media management so magde-generate siya ng 30 topics for social media management and then based on that topics 
na i-load niya, gagawa siya ng tweets about it, and then gagawa din siya ng Facebook post and Instagram post about it, and then hashtags for that, and then SEO title for the website, and then YouTube SEO title naman. So, for example, this one, the importance of social media. So, nakita nyo, nag-generate siya first ng topic, tapos, after generating na topic, meron siyang ginawang tweets, naka-ano siya ng hashtag, it will take a couple of seconds para ma-generate niya. But still, di ba, hindi ka na mag-iisip. <laughs> si ChatGPT na ang gumagawa lahat sa'yo and then naka-table na siya. You will just really have to copy and paste it. But again, as I have said, then you have to customize it para ma-inline siya sa brand voice mo na ginawa. Di ba? Nag-topic na tayo about brand voice. So, yeah, this is just merely a guide para sa content mo. So, for example, the first topic is importance of social media management. And then, ang tweet ginawa niya is effective social media management can significantly boost brand reputation, increase customer engagement, and drive sales. Don't overlook the power of a well-managed social media presence. Yeah, this is perfect. This is a perfect tweet. Tapos, meron pang hashtags na generate for you. So, that's nice. This is also a perfect example for a Facebook and Instagram post. Attention to all social media enthusiasts. So, as you can see, meron po siyang ginamit ng mga emojis. Like, so cool. And then, meron din siyang ginawang hashtags for you. This is a good title na for a website na naka-SEO na siya. Bale, yung mga keywords na ginagamit niya is always in a search sa search engine. So, mastering social media management, elevate your brand reputation, customer engagements, and sales growth with ease. And then for YouTube naman, ito din, naka-SEO na din siya. Ginagamit niya yung keywords na usually in a search sa YouTube. So, yeah, you can add more here if you want. And I'm gonna walk you through sa formula or sa prompts na ginawa ko para ma-generate to lahat in just a minute. For the first formula is this, create a list of 30 topics about this A2. So that's why I changed the topic here, di ba kanina dito, health and wellness yung nilagay ko dito. So ngayon, change ko siya about social media management. So nag-generate siya ng 30 topics. So social media management for small businesses, choosing the right social media platform for your industry, tips, creating a strong social media strategy. So ito lahat, 30 to sila. So, you can add more if you want. Like, let's say, gawin natin 50 ha. If you want it to be mas madami pa talaga, lagyan natin ng 50. Let's see. Okay, cool. By the way, as you can see here, gumamit ako ng formula na GPT list. Meaning, list yung gagawin niya. That's why pwede akong mag-ask ng how many items sa list ko. Did you get what I mean? Meron kasing formula na GPT lang where you can put the prompts na there. Like, let's say, quote and quote, generate a topic for social media management. Isa lang to siya. Isa lang yung ma-generate niya. But I need more. So, that's why I used the GPT list na tag. Did you get what I mean? Let us check if 50 ba talaga yung nagawa niya, no? Let's see. Okay, cool! So, ito na yung another 20 count. Uh, you cannot see here, but andito sa baba, meron siyang 20 count na sinabi. So, we can always click this one and then just drag it para maging 50 na din to. So yeah, ayan, naglo-load na naman siya and generating the additional topics na nilagay natin. Boom! Ayun. So, yeah, that's that. Balik tayo ha. Ilagay natin to sa 100. Oh, see? Nag-generate siya ng topic pero isa lang. But we need a lot of topics. We need a list of topics, right? That's why I use the GPT list. I really hope that you get that why I use the list, no? Now, let's move on here sa next sa tweet. So, ang ano talaga ni ChatGPT is that kailangan na super specific ka sa instruction mo sa kanya. So, for example, create a tweet about this one. This is A5. A5, right? Makikita mo din dito. This is, ano kasi, holder. A5 is a holder of the data here 
sa cell na to. So, kukunin natin yung data na nasa loob ng A5, which is the importance of social media marketing na topic. Did you get what I mean? I will try to explain this as much as I can na maintindihan nyo. My point is here, huwag nyo siyang isali sa quote and quote. A5 is a holder, it's a variable. Don't put it inside the quote and quote. Diba? Tapos, don't forget the end because this is how you are going to add the variable. And then, let's say ha, kunin ko tong isang end na to. Mag-error siya, hindi na siya mag-work. See? The same pag ganyan, wala siya. Pag nakalimutan nyo, it's an error. Oops. Yeah, see? It's an error. Because, you really have to put end para, I'm not sure if this is the right term, para makankatenate. <laughs> I'm not really sure about the term na. Para maging isang prompt siya na complete. And then, don't forget to put with less than 280 characters. That's for the tweet. Kasi, di ba, mayroong characters lang na limit yung tweets. If you are not going to add this, mas marami yung characters na i-generate niya. And magkakaproblema ka kasi hindi siya matwi-tweet eh, kasi more than siya sa characters, di ba, for the Twitter. So, yeah, you really have to be so specific sa instruction mo, what I have said. Here naman, still the same, we are still going to use the A5 na variable na cell here. Kukunin natin yung content from here. But, create a social media post about with a light-hearted style. That's the reason why nag-generate siya ng mga emojis, di ba? So, pagtanggalin natin to, pwede naman, pero mawawala yung parang pagka, ano niya. Let's wait. Uh, si parang super ano lang siya. Normal kind of pose. Should I say, I want more something na parang easy to take in. So, lagyan natin ng ganito. So, yeah. It's more fun. The post for me is more fun. But again, it's really up to the brand voice of your business or the business of your client. So, this one naman sa hashtags. Create Instagram hashtags for this topic. You can customize more of this. But I would say, no. I guess, hindi nila kinakount yung how many users ang hashtags na to. This is just a guide lang. Because again, I feel like yung hashtags na leveling hashtag is much more efficient to do. This is a good way lang na magkaroon kayo ng idea kung ano yung mga isa-search na hashtags and check if how many users. I already created a video about leveling hashtags. Like, merong count of hashtags na mas efficient siya gamitin. Again, if hindi nyo na-gets kung ano yung sinasabi ko na leveling hashtags, you can check out this video here. Ito, yan, sinishare ko yung hashtags and how to create your own set of hashtags for the Instagram accounts sa business mo or sa clients mo. Now, moving forward here sa website SEO title, create an SEO website title for this topic with no hashtags included. Kasi pag ganun, pag tinanggal ko to, sinasali niya yung hashtags. And it's up to you, maybe you want a hashtag sa title mo, but for me, I don't want a hashtag. Oh, see? <laughs> Mayroon siya hashtag. So I don't like it. So, we no hashtags included. And you can always customize this as your own, let's say, create a website title for this topic using the mostly search words in Google. Let's try. Okay, cool. So, ang ginawa ko dito, mas, ginawa ko pa siyang mas specific sa gusto kong gawin. Like, create a website title for this topic, B6, ito, using the mostly searched words in Google search engine with no hashtags included. Ang topic natin is how to create a social media strategy. So, ito yung mostly search words sa Google search engine. Effective social media strategy made simple. Tips for refining your goals, targeting your audience, and growing. Oh, perfect. So, this is so perfect. I love it. So, see, the more na mas specific kayo sa prompt nyo, sa instruction nyo, for ChatGPT, mas maganda yung result nyo.
let's move forward here. Wait, I'm just going to copy this one. Tong bagong ginawa natin. Let's go back to the fifth row lang. Here, the more specific siya, the more mas maganda yung result. So, I'm just going to do that one and then put this one D5. Boom. So, that's that. Now, this one. Create an SEO YouTube title for this topic with no hashtags included. I would say I'm going to copy this one and then change this one and let's say create a YouTube title for this topic using the mostly searched words in YouTube. Okay, great. So, again, the topic here is the importance of social media marketing. Ang ginawa niya is unlock the power of social media marketing for businesses, build your brand, and drive sales in the digital age. So, yeah, I guess this is perfect for a YouTube title. And, yeah, I really hope na nag-gets nyo lahat yung shinare ko kung paano ko ginawa yung prompts. Just the same lang din yung gagawin nyo if you want to add more details here. Again, if you want this template, you can click the link below. You can download it from your end and use this one. Again, don't forget guys ha, na if you are going to use this template, customize it based sa client nyo or based sa business nyo. The brand voice, kasi again, we cannot rely everything sa AI generated type of topic. You still have to check it na magiging in line siya or align siya sa brand voice nyo and the content that you are creating. You still have to double check it, triple check it, 100 times check it kind of thing. So, yeah. I hope this is clear and if not, feel free to drop us a message sa Facebook page natin and yeah. And hopefully guys, you find that tutorial helpful and as what I have said, na don't forget to customize yung mga na-generate according to your brand voice talaga or to the brand voice sa hinahandal nyo na business, okay? Kasi ano pa yung purpose sa pag-create ng brand voice, sa pag-make sure na maganda yung branding natin kung hindi naman natin follow yung brand voice, di ba? So, again, that is so, so important and I would highly recommend to customize the prompts according to your needs kasi iba-iba yung needs sa uh, isang business, right? So, if hindi nyo naman need yung YouTube SEO type just remove that one para yung ma-generate nyo lang talaga is yung kailangan nyo lang na mga copy, mga samples, or mga content ideas, mga ganun. And another take note pa, that itong si Shit GPT, it only allows you to generate 100,000 words for free. But after that, you are going to pay na monthly. So, I would say 100,000 words are already good enough for you to start with. That's why I would say na use it wisely. Like, kung hindi mo yan kailangan, hindi mo kailangan na mag-generate ng website, SEO title, then just delete it. Yung ganun. You have to use it wisely para hindi sayang yung for free na binigay ni Sheet GPT para sa inyo, guys. And, yeah, for this video's assignment, I would like you to generate at least 30 days worth of content. Diba meron tayong ginawa na content calendar? So, kung yung content calendar mo is, let's say, for content per week lang, then hindi mo necessary na 30 days talaga or 30 content, 30 posts talaga yung generate mo. Yung need lang for one month. Are we clear? And yeah, don't forget to create the image or the reels kasi hindi yan kasali sa pag-generate natin ngayon na. That's just more of generating the text side, the copy, the caption, the hashtags and all. So if this is your first time to watch this video, this is an e-course series for social media managers. You can watch this playlist here and see kung ano talaga yung first video para mas ma-connect nyo yung topic natin. And yeah, I hope to check your output. You can share that sa Facebook groups natin. For the public group, I'm ready to boss up a brick suey. Feel free to join that one. For the paid group naman, where we check talaga and give feedback to your output. It's becoming a social media manager, a boss up challenge. And yeah, follow us on our Facebook page at boss up PH. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram accounts as well, at bossaph and at bricksui. So yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!